Hey guys, hope everybody's doing well today. Um, I just want to start off by saying God bless you. Uh, I love you all and I hope you're doing well. <clears throat> um, so, one issue that we tend to struggle with as Christians um, and we have to think that, you know, this day and age, if the Lord truly lives within you, um, <clears throat> then your eyes are opened, you are awake. Um, there are so many that are blind every day. Um, <clears throat> we have pastors all over the country, and a lot of them are false. They're prosperity teachers. And they don't teach the gospel as it is. They don't teach the truth. They teach prosperity. They teach the message that the Lord wants you to be rich. The Lord wants you to have money. The Lord wants you to have a nice house and cars. And the Lord wants you to be, be millionaires, basically. Which nothing could be further from the truth. Um, you need to be aware of these people, and I will label them by name. Uh, T.D. Jakes, Kenneth Copeland is a big one. He is false, um, and I'm not trying to smear his name, but many, many people are being led astray by these prosperity teachings that are false. Do not believe them. Do not buy into them. Do not be deceived. Um, the Lord said in the end days, you know, during the great apostasy, uh, he would allow those that are blind, he would allow them to remain blinded and live in their delusions. Um, as Christians, we need to try to open the eyes of as many as we can to the truth. Now, many people, when you share the truth with them, there are going to be many that will not accept it. Um, that don't believe you. They don't believe that what you're saying is of the Lord. <clears throat> they believe the garbage that they're being fed every day by these false teachers. They believe that the Lord wants them to have money. And they lose focus of the true message. You know, um, the love, the passion of Jesus Christ. Um, the one and only begotten Son of God sent here to defeat sin and to liberate us from our bondage of sin. Um, through him, we have the gift of eternal life. Um, just remember, do not lose sight of the true meaning, the true message of Jesus. Um, God doesn't care how much money you have. That doesn't matter. Let me ask you, when you pass on from this world, can you take your riches with you? Can you take your fortune with you? Can you take your nice house and your nice car with you to the next world? And if the answer is no, then you really need to examine what it is you're listening to or buying into. Um, <clears throat> Um, Kenneth Copeland, T.D. Jakes, Joel Osteen, uh, Oprah has this new age movement crap, and that's garbage. Oprah believes that there are many ways to salvation. She believes that, I mean, she is, her belief has taken Jesus Christ completely out of the picture, and she's basically saying there are many ways to God there are many ways to eternal life not just Jesus so if you are truly a believer you know for a fact without a doubt that she is so wrong <laughs> um, so there's that and um, you know and I'm gonna get into this in another you know a, a separate video but I just want to touch on this for a second. Um, 
the Catholic faith, um, that faith is a lie. And it has been a lie ever since man, not God, man created this, this abomination of truth. Um, the Catholic faith is wrong. If you are Catholic, I urge you to turn away from this. Um, you know, do not be a part of this this lie because that's what it is. The Catholic faith is a lie, uh, and I can give you two reasons to support this. I can give you two huge things to support why it's a lie. Okay, one of those is the Virgin Mary. Okay, now don't get me wrong. Uh, Mary was truly blessed. You know, God blessed Mary um, so much. You know. To choose her to give birth to the Savior of the world. Uh, Mary was very blessed. Of course she was. But Mary is not divine. Mary is not God. Uh, she does not hold a candle to Jesus. Or, or the Father or the Son. She is not up there with them. But people have been worshipping her for years. And this is a lie. Um, to worship... A statue of Mary is false idol worship. It is a graven image. And it has been one of the biggest lies of the Catholic Church for that hundreds of years. Okay, Mary is not divine. Do not worship Mary. Mary was a person like you or me. She was not on the level that Jesus and the Father are on. It is a lie. Um, another thing is the Pope... Uh, that office is, I, I cannot express how false that office has been. And, and the office of the Pope has revolved around corruption and evil ever since it was created hundreds of years ago. Uh, the Pope believes um, so many things that are just blasphemy is all it is. It's all blasphemy. Um, anytime you notice the Pope goes anywhere in public, he expects worship he expects people to fall to their knees and kiss his hands and worship him that is blasphemy right there okay another thing is the pope believes in you know he believes he has divine right uh, he believes he is the one true connection in this world he is the one true physical connection direct line to god that is also a lie Anyone that accepts Jesus Christ as their Savior, um, His Spirit lives inside you, and you have a direct line to God. Do not believe for a minute that you have to rely on the Pope to have a connection to God. That's a lie. Everyone has the has everyone has the ability to have a direct line of communication to God, and He's called Jesus Christ. That's your direct line to God. That is the truth. No human man on this earth can give you a direct spiritual line to God. That's what Jesus does. Okay, so that's a lie. Um, he believes he has divine right. That means if he looks through the Bible and he finds something that he doesn't agree with, even though it came directly from God and was inspired directly by God himself, if he doesn't agree with it, then he has the divine right to change the words or to take it out of the book completely. Now, if you pay attention, okay, I'm just going to touch on this for a second. Uh, I'm going to have another video that is, it's that's all it is, is the Pope and the Catholic faith. Okay, if you pay attention to the Bible, um, at the very end of the book of Revelations, um, one of the very last paragraphs in the book of Revelations God himself says, um, pertaining to the Holy Word, pertaining to the Bible, God himself says, if any man adds to these words, adds to my words, I will too add to him the curses written in this book. God also said, if any man takes away from my words, I too shall take away his part in the book of life. Now, this is what God says. 
in a nutshell, God himself says, if anybody takes away from my words, I'm going to take him out of the book of life. Do not add to or take away from my words. They are here for a reason, and everything in this book, every word is here for a reason. Leave it be. Okay, and this is what God said. Now, the Pope, with his divine right, which is totally bogus, let me tell you what he did, okay? <clears throat> the Pope, now, I'm not talking about Pope Francis. Um, I, I can't remember who did this, but if you want... You know, do some research and you'll, you know, dig, dig a little bit and you will find the truth. Um, I can't tell you the name of the Pope that did this. <clears throat> but one of the Popes, he took out in the Catholic catechism, okay, the Catholic order of things, the way they do things. The Pope took out one of the Ten Commandments, okay. Now, I'll understand this. He didn't just take out a book of the Bible. He didn't take away a sentence in the Bible. He took out one of God's commandments and take a wild guess which commandment it was. Okay, the commandment about thou shalt not have graven images. The statue of Mary. What is that? <laughs> a graven image. So the Pope took that out. Took that commandment out. And what he did was he took one of the other commandments. But you say, oh, but there's still ten commandments. Of course there is. See, the devil the devil has, has a knack for taking God's words and twisting it and corrupting it to make it look like the truth. You understand, the devil, Satan, is the father of lies, okay? He is good at it. He has had a lot of practice, okay? Nobody can lie like Satan, okay? So, yes, there are still Ten Commandments in the Catholic Catechism, though. Let me tell you what the Pope did. He took out the commandment about false, you know, graven images so that people could still worship Mary, okay? And he took one of the other commandments, you know, one of the longer commandments, and he split it in half to so there would still be Ten Commandments. The commandment about um, covet, covetousness. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's goods. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. He took that one and he split it in half. So that there's still ten commandments. But you will not find the commandment about, about graven images in the Catholic Catechism. The Pope took it out to keep misleading people. To lead people to deceit. Okay. Another huge, huge thing, okay, that the Catholics are getting wrong. No man on this earth, anywhere, can forgive you of your sin. A priest cannot forgive your sin. It can't happen. Okay? A lot of people, a lot of Catholics are going to burn in hell for this. Okay? Only God can forgive you of your sin. Okay? Now... There was one and only one exception to that rule, and that was Jesus Christ. When he lived on this earth, he was a human and he was divine. He was the only physical manifestation on this earth that could forgive sin. He was the only exception to the rule, and that's it. Okay, He could do it because he was the Son of God, but that's it. No priest in the world can forgive you of your sin. Stop believing that crap. It's garbage. Okay? Only God can forgive you of your sin. So, that's another huge mistake that the Catholics are making every day, is that they believe that a human uh, priest can forgive them of sin. Father, forgive me. You are forgiven, my child. No! That is a lie. He cannot forgive you. You still have that sin. He hasn't forgiven anything. He can't wash away your sin. Only God can forgive your sin through the blood and sacrifice of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who died on the cross for us. Amen? He's the only one that can forgive it. So don't believe for a second that a human can forgive you of sin. That is a bogus falsehood. Okay? Um, I urge you, if you are in the Catholic faith, leave. Leave the Catholic faith. Do not be a part of it. Save yourself. Save your children. Save your family from that. All right. I will touch on that more 
uh, in a later video. Um, God bless you all. I love you. Um, through the Spirit of Jesus Christ who lives within me, I will keep sharing the truth with you as much as possible. Uh, make no mistake, we are living in the end times. Um, our Lord is coming back for us soon. Um, our Lord is going to come on the clouds, and He's going to He's coming for His bride very soon. Please be ready, brothers and sisters. Be ready to fly. Be ready to leave this world of evil and corruption because it's it's any day now. Uh, always be on on guard. Always be praying. Be righteous. Be holy. I love you. And the Lord is with you. God bless you.